Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. This week we begin the book of Exodus and we start the journey once again as our people move from slavery to freedom. And I'm standing to today to speak with you in a little vestibule between the gift shop and the social hall, in the main hallway that we pass through to get to the sanctuary. And if you look behind me, you'll see there are pictures of the rabbis who have served this congregation. And off you can't see it, but on the other side is a picture of Cantor Fran Berg, who's one of our cantors here. The reason I chose this is that each of these rabbis, as leaders, led our congregation on a journey. And each of them started in one place knowing that they weren't quite where they wanted to be, that they were in the Narrows somehow, just like Mitzrayim was the Narrows. Egypt was a narrow place. And they knew that they wanted to move our congregation to a promised land of sorts. Each of them did it in their own way. And in a very real sense, I'm in the same boat that each of them were in. It's not that it was so much a narrow place when I arrived, but there's a whole new world and a whole new way of being Jewish and seeing Jewish and doing Jewish uh, that I've pursued. And sometimes that journey has been wonderful and sometimes it's been difficult, just as the Exodus journey as we read it. Uh, there are times when the Israelites were happy and there are times when they weren't so happy. This is what it means to be part of a community on a journey, that we're constantly moving. And we remember our past, but we also remember the journeys that we took with each of them. The journey from Dr. Gutmann, who was a German speaker, to Rabbi Friedman, who was the first born in America, to Rabbi Levy, who pushed social justice, to Rabbi Ezri, who reached out to younger families, and now forward, as we've been doing together for almost eight years so far. In each of those journeys, our people has grown and learned and moved forward. And we hope that it will be the same going forward from now, too. There's another big journey that starts this week. This Shabbat marks the inauguration of a new president. And it's a journey that many of us are afraid of, many of us have great fears, and the truth is none of us knows for sure where that journey is headed. But the one thing that we do have, that we Jews possess, is a rich history. A history that can guide us, a history that can help us avoid some of the pitfalls, can help us sound the alarm bells if we need to, and can help us unite to make sure that our journey takes us to the place that we want to be in that really brings us to the promised land. I hope you'll join us for Shabbat services this Friday night. Services will be at 6 o'clock here at the temple. Saturday morning, text study at 9, Torah at 10, and services at 11. As it happens, the cantor and I will be out of town this weekend with our 6th graders on our annual 6th grade retreat. So we will miss you, but uh, you'll be in the able hands of Jim Brule. Uh, Sunday, we have full religious school and all of the activities. And during the week, of course, the usual sets of activities going on at the temple, uh, including a wonderful concert uh, in our Goldenberg Concert Series. For now, though, I wish you a time to savor the journey. Yes, fear is always a part of starting a new journey, and there's always a time when we want to look back and go back to the way things were. But just as each of these rabbis behind me learned, you can't look back forever. You have to consistently move forward and look forward and look ahead. And so whether it's the journey of reading Exodus again, or the journey our temple is on, or the journey our nation is on, we take these lessons from the past, and we move forward with our heads held high, with a deep belief in knowing what is right, and a desire, a deep desire, to build that promised land, to work together, to include everyone we can, to make sure that our world is more filled with shalom. Shabbat shalom for now. Look forward to seeing you along the way on the journey. And look forward to seeing you in the temple.